This video uh, talks about uh, the stem and frames uh, 7 and 8 and how they're mounted. So this is just showing uh, frame 8 and the stem itself. And uh, so you can see how that fits together. Um, and then the breast tuck, you actually can see that as well, how that looks. And uh, so this is showing uh, that assembly, the stem and frame eight, and then here's frame seven. And what I'm trying to show here is how frame seven, you can see the floor timber. It's a little bit hard to see, but that uh, edge, you know, the floor timber uh, thickness there, that actually sets on top of the front of the stringer uh, on each side. So you can see it over here. So it's a little bit hard to see, I guess. So this is actually just uh, dry fitted. It's not uh, attached permanently yet. And then also um, when I'm, uh, okay, I hadn't drilled the holes. There's actually two holes for screws that go through the floor timber uh, frame seven and the frame into the, the stem. And uh, this is, you can see a little bit better how uh, actually the frame seven sits again on top of the end of the of the stringer here basically this edge of floor timber <clears throat> and uh, here you can see where I've actually uh, screwed drilled and screwed uh, drilled holes and then used uh, the bronze screws to attach the stem to uh, frame number seven and then I've also already cut the notch here, you can see, for the keel. And here you can, you can get a good picture to see how that uh, floor timber uh, rests on the end uh, or the edge of the <clears throat> top edge of the uh, end of the stringer. And so the end of the stringer is actually this edge right here. So it butts up against uh, the gusset on, any, on each side of um, frame number seven. So it just butts up against there. And then this last picture that I'm showing, um, actually you can see what I did is, um, so this is the other side, of course, of the end of the stringer. And if you remember on the, on the opposite side, the end of the stringer butts up against the opposite um, gusset. And then I just drilled one big hole and used one large bronze screw with epoxy as well. Uh, but that's how I attached. Uh, basically this assembly, well, frame seven, but it was uh, attached to the, to the stem. And so you can see uh, on that side, those big screws. <clears throat> and then when I attach that, of course, I use levels to make sure that um, this was level. However, actually, I don't think I had to do much of that because just uh, this being square and the way uh, the end of the stem being squared off, it fits in that notch in frame seven there. Actually, let me see if I, there we go. There's a notch uh, between these two uh, frame pieces. That's where the stem goes. And so that kind of squares that up. And, uh, but um, you can see where I used, you, you want to use blocking down here uh, to give uh, the breast hook you temporarily, temporarily attach the breast hook uh, to these blocking members. Um, and don't forget to put plastic uh, under here between these two so you don't, uh, you don't want epoxy and stuff dripping down in there and attaching your stem and breast hook to these temporary blocking members. So that's how frames uh, seven and eight and the stem um, get attached.